Spider-Man No Way Home is out in theaters, and I'm here to not talk about that, but I'm gonna talk about Spider-Man 2002 for the GameCube. Is that okay with you? I'm kidding. I don't care. You're fucked. I love Spider-Man, specifically the Sam Raimi movies. They're as insane as the Star Wars prequels, while also having a lot of heart and being genuinely good movies. Movie video game tie-ins aren't really a thing anymore, but they used to be super popular and Spider-Man was most certainly a victim. Warning, this video will contain spoilers for Spider-Man the Movie 2002 for the GameCube. If you haven't gotten around to playing it yet, don't. The game starts off with this beautiful cutscene. This is how my story begins. My uncle Ben fight promoter me. cheated me, so I didn't think it was my problem when he so got robbed. With a at the 42nd Street Library. And then you gotta start swinging around, beating people up, because Uncle Ben just died and... Well, it's time to beat people up. Then you find this asshole, and you hang him over the side of the building, he pees his pants a little, gives up his friends, and then you fucking break his neck. The combat in the game is fine, I mean it's a movie tie-in from 2002, so I wasn't really expecting a great combat system, but... It works, it gets the job done. There are some nice combos, some cool web attacks, it's just a lot of fun for the whole family. Except it's not. This game is so hard, and I was only playing on normal difficulty. Yet, it, it took me like over an hour to defeat each boss battle. Maybe I just suck at video games. Oh wait, I do. But seriously, like, let me show you this. I hope you don't mind, but I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit in the story and show you a boss battle that happens later on. There's no structure to this video, by the way. I don't- but I don't, I don't think any of you care. I don't, I don't think any of you are crying because I'm not reviewing the game in chronological order. So, there's this boss battle that happens later on in the game where you need to take out this giant robot. It has no significance to the story, but it's there, and basically there's ten power generators around, and you gotta take out each one in order to kill the boss. The problem is, the problem is there are smaller robots following you around and shooting you, as well as a bunch of turrets shooting missiles at you. So you are constantly being shot at. Constantly. How do you avoid this? You literally just have to jump around and hope you don't get hit. I was stuck on this boss battle for over an hour, <laughs> and I was streaming it too. If you weren't there, if you missed the stream, I'm sorry. Um, do better. I can't imagine trying to play this as a kid. <laughs> That'd be awful. Something I actually love about this game is that the voice that gives you tips and tutorial stuff is actually Bruce Campbell. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. He just shits on you the whole time for not knowing what to do. Here's a tip for when you're on the side of a building. If you press the zip line button, you'll zip in the direction you're crawling. Of course, you'd know this if you played the basic tutorial, but I guess you're just cooler than the rest of us. <laughs> What's with the get up, chump? I think every single game from now on should have Bruce Campbell insulting the player. Now the story of this game does deviate from the film quite a bit. If you couldn't figure that out already... I'm the Shocker. I tell you not to forget it, but you won't be around long enough to worry about that. Now say goodbye to Mr. Innocent Bystander, sucker! No. But that's not a bad thing because obviously the movie itself can't fill up an entire game's worth of story, so they do bring in some other villains from the comic books. <gasps> oh no. He sure took off in a hurry. It was really cool to see these guys appear, and it was even more fun to fight them, but the best part, and this goes for the entire game, actually, not just the boss battles, the best part of the entire fucking game is the quips. This guy's a few sandwiches short of a picnic. But I better help him out. Get off me! Hey, Vulture! Didn't your mother ever teach you that stealing is wrong? Didn't I see you in a dubbed rubber monster movie? Every time you move the controller... Toby says something. And it's always something profound. My favorite line in the whole game is... 
You're crazier than a soup sandwich. Get off the wall, you fuck. You're crazier than a soup sandwich. How can you make jokes? <laughs> <laughs> soup sandwich. <laughs> I was dying. Now, I do want to discuss a certain level uh, where you sneak into Oscorp. I don't even remember what you had to do, you, you, but you sneak into Oscorp and you're sneaking around and you're trying not to get caught because you're sneaking around. This level was fucked. I couldn't stand this. I hated this level. It was just, I, 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 I like when video games are challenging. I would much prefer to play a really challenging game over a game that's too easy. I think most people would. But there's a line. There's a limit. So you need to sneak around Oscorp. And I, again, I don't remember why. I don't feel like looking at the footage to figure it out. Um... But you need to sneak around and not get caught. And you need to go in different rooms and press buttons. And it looks like Half-Life. And every time you get caught. <laughs> that's, it's just. It, it, it's. You, 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 <laughs> now, you're probably wondering how the swinging feels. It's kind of an essential part to any Spider-Man game. You got to be able to swing around the city. And it's got to feel good. The worst part about the swinging in this game is that you can't really move left and right easily. You can just kind of go straight up and down. Because you're attaching your webs to the sky. You're not attaching to a building. So you, you aren't really swinging to the side. You're just swinging straight. And if you want to move left and right, you need to stop swinging. And this is like a really slow, long process. You gotta stop swinging, kind of fall a little bit in the sky, and then turn the camera and put and swing somewhere else. And if you're chasing the Green Goblin, he's gone. And that leads me to these stupid fucking flying battles where you gotta chase the Green Goblin everywhere. And it's just... At several points in the game, you do need to fight the Green Goblin in the sky. And these battles aren't that bad. They're actually pretty easy. But the worst parts of them are when you need to chase him. Because the web sl swinging is, is so clunky, it becomes so difficult to keep up with him. And again, I like a good challenge in a video game. I don't play video games because I want them to be easy. I want to be challenged in them. I want to overcome a challenge. But not when the challenge is Boring. You just move straight, and occasionally you need to move around a building with your slow ass little turns. And then Green Goblin gets away and he's like, ha ha ha, can't keep up with me now, Spider Man. There is this one part where he throws his little flying blades at you. He called them like batarangs or something. That part is awful. You're being chased by these little thingies, and, and they touch you, and, and it hurts and you just gotta keep getting away from them. But they kill you, and they kill you again, and they kill you again. And you know, maybe I'm just bad at the game. I'm just bad at the game. I'm just fucking bad at the game. I'm so bad at the game. <laughs> I'm so bad at the game. I can't play video games. I'm so bad at them. Or maybe this this game just sucks. All right, let's talk about the Green Goblin boss battles, though. The the on-the-ground, hand-to-hand combat boss fights. Basically, for every boss battle, this game introduces a brand new fighting combo. And then there's no other way to really beat the boss battle other than by just repeatedly using that new combo they introduced to you. I mean, I'm sure there probably is, and I'm just bad at the game. But from my experiences with these boss fights, I basically had to repeatedly use this these combos over and over again. Especially when I was fighting the Green Goblin, I found if I tried to do anything else against him, he would just grab me and start choking me, and I would just die. I can't your skill is tremendous. You're wasting your talents helping the pathetic. 
This little donkey kick seemed to work the best, so I used that a lot. So at the end of the game, you gotta save Mary Jane on the bridge, and then you take down the Green Goblin, and then you get a good old kiss from Mary Jane Watson. This is a nice smooch. It's a... Except it's... She, she doesn't... She doesn't, like... Like, your mask is on for it. So it's, like... She's, she just kind of kisses your mask, and that's... That's it.